Happy Sunday, everyone. Right, so... Um, now, this was actually meant to be yesterday, but I've been scrapping my arena and rebuilding it about three or four times, but I'm really happy with what I've done so far. Now, this is... and Let me understand the reasoning as to the why of this has taken a while to get out. Um, with the arena, I we all, obviously I think everyone knew that this was going to be one of my bigger builds, and it is. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you've seen the video. I, you know, it's it's looking pretty cool. But basically, my my premise with the arena, um, and what I'm doing right now is just kind of laying out the the positioning of it, um, is that I wanted it to follow kind of a similar theme to a lot of my buildings. How I'm kind of but so it's going to be have that concrete base, um, and then. A lot of the detail will come from steel and wood that's going to be added afterwards. Now, concrete is one of those very sneaky things that it's very easy for you to maybe overuse it a bit too much and rely on it too heavily. Oh, watch this. <laughs> I used the wrong grenade. That skeleton went miles away. <laughs> um, I usually carry frag grenades around for literally that purpose. Um, it was one of my nuka grenades. Oh, wow, it was fun. And it definitely got rid of the skeleton. Anywho. So basically, um, I knew I wanted a base structure to build upon, but it also had to be interesting. Now, you'll see as I'm building this, that this structure, like the, the base part you're seeing now, the ground, um, what I'm doing basically is I'm making it so the floor kind of goes over that water area. I was actually going to have it so it was exclusively over the water area, but to be honest, it's so tiny. Um, and what well, you'll see at the end um, with the, because I turned this into kind of a stadium, Oh, and by the way, it doesn't end up being square. Um, it's kind of angled. Um, but initially, that's why I had to keep changing it. So you just, you know, fucking changing things around all the time. But basically, um, it is actually quite... The battle area ends up still being quite small. I mean, it looks like um, th that was the whole idea. But basically, anyway. So this episode, don't worry about things like repetition in this one. Or anything like that. Because think of these as... The sanctuary houses. So you can see right there, I've got my base area there. There's going to be loads of detail added to this, but we needed to get this important structure down first. Now, concrete is, holy shit, one of the most confusing things ever. Um, especially on a bigger scale. On a smaller scale, it's fine, because you can kind of go, oh, I can do this, I can do that. Like, there's, there's something I do in this, which I don't know how I explain. I, I, I know how I did it, but I have to probably think... So basically, later on, so I'm making the, my initial idea was I wanted, and it obviously does go with it, is it's going to be this big kind of arena with an area that you can look down. Now eventually, I turn it to look like an actual stadium. I'm actually really pleased with the structure. Um, kind of, it's going, it's going to eventually have, it's almost like a, be, um, a baseball stadium was what I was trying to visually inspire myself. I've never seen one, I've only in TV. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, basically the idea being, you know, it's like, it's kind of like they've modelled it on that, but they've turned it into some, you know, brutal fighting pit instead. Um, but obviously like this structure, even like with these towers here, they get removed in a minute because I wanted it so it's angled at the sides. Um, but what I do is, so the thing is with concrete, I've managed to make it so the outside is a little bit higher than the inside and what that means is is there are no odd looking bits i'll show you at the end but just like i wanted to draw attention to it because initially i was like i don't know how i did that specifically exactly what i did to make that um to achieve that technique but i wanted to point it out and i'll point it out again that may seem quite nonsensical but you'll get it when i i, I get to it i guess <laughs> um so yeah, well, what I'm doing right now is basically just, I, I could have removed all this, but I wanted you guys to see my thought process. Now you see what up the top there, how you've actually got the, base the floor, because I put a floor down rather than a ceiling. It's actually higher than the surrounding wall. That's what I've managed to avoid completely, but using the floor pieces. Um, it's a little weird. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> Also, I've, I've made it so you don't, and I do show you this, um, but the actual, you know, with the walls, where you're putting the walls on at the, like, around the foundation, and you have the gap of the wall underneath, um, I figured out how to do that, so it actually looks good. Um, basically, so it's pretty good, but it's quite a nightmare. It's, it, concrete is so fiddly, it's the way the snapping works. So this part is utterly, this is me just learning. See, I, and I basically what I do is I realise I have to actually build, and I end up building half of the arena to my specifications, which you're going to see in a minute. 
because I literally it's after this part. Because I had to... That's what was stressing me out about this, and that's why that's why I actually did home play. I did home play because I was avoiding doing this, because I kept trying it, and I was like, fuck's sake, fuck's sake. So, like... Initially, and I did this, right? So, basically, I did... Ah, oh, it's so bollocks. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so awful. What I end up doing first, it's really embarrassing. It's like, I thought, oh, it might look good. No, it looks shit. See, this is why I did this, right? Now, on a smaller scale, this probably look okay. But on this scale, God, don't do this. Don't, don't, just don't do it. And I actually used up loads of resources doing this. And falling down as well. Don't do what I'm doing now. I, I disallow any of you to do this, okay? No, no. Right, so this is what I did. See, don't worry, don't panic. This isn't what it actually looks like, but I wanted to show you what... Because, like, the shape, this is what I kept end up ending up with. And I was like, right, David, you've got to stop bloody recording. Right, okay. So now, firstly, I realise I want it to have a kind of a stand situation. So basically, it's going to be... They're going to be tiers. So it's almost like steps, basically. There are steps. Big, exaggerated steps. Um, and they're eventually going to have chairs on them as well, and kind of seating area. I'm thinking of... I'm going to have to get loads of aluminium, because I'm using the airplane seating because it's you know it's, it's the best one it's just like cinema seating or something like that um so we're popping this down here now again like there's there's so much awkwardness with the way concrete snaps like, for example this bit there so i end up doing see i'm putting the the floor piece this is when it starts to come together this is when it's just like ah um when i start getting inspired and i get really excited so here we go here's my half right I was like, fuck it. Here is my half. I'm going to show you how to build the rest, but like, it's really angled. Very different. This only really took me, once I did this, this is logistically really difficult for me to set up. And I had to I had to actually build this before I recorded thing because I just didn't know what I was doing. But I'm really pleased with it and the end result is fucking grand. Right. Alright. So, you may notice what I've already done is I've actually put the bottom... Like, the the complete bottom of the concrete wall I, I, um, first, um, and then I've built up, right? And the way you may notice this is, it was really difficult, once I forgot how to do it, I will show you. Because <laughs> I don't know how I did it, I just was tracing from the side. Um, I think I used a shack upper floor, like the metal one, that allowed me to raise it a little bit higher on one side. But basically... If you were to snap a wall on, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Oh, these fucking corner pieces, by the way, are an absolute nightmare. The concrete, God, I love it, but it is painful as hard to get things to snap properly. I'll show you in a bit. I, I will show you in a bit how to do the, the bottom areas. Um, but basically, if you were to snap a wall on the side of a foundation, it would be lower than how I've done it. And I don't know how I've done it. I think it was with using, I think it was starting from the top, and once I figure it out, <laughs> I will show you in the next video, basically. <laughs> so before any of you start building this, I mean, to us, you could build exactly this, and it would just look a little different at the top, so don't worry about that. So this part here, the reason why I have to do this is because it's a knob head, and I can't snap it in. So I want ceilings um, and shit on the inside, so I have to make sure it's outside the concrete this is the kind this is why i fucked up last time because it actually what i built actually looked so much shit and this was great so i actually ended up building something cool but it's so easy to fuck the concrete up and you're just like oh, you just you, you can like you can hear me sigh at points <laughs> i think i fall down a few times as well and you can you can legitimately hear me sigh you can feel it through the internet i'm just like oh so this is like, this is the arena area, right? And you see it's actually quite small, even though the actual structure is massive. It's really small, but I like it because it means that the stands area, I'm going to have shops. Like the entire, I'm going to merge obviously the actual Starlight drive-in, you know, diner area as well. But I'm trying to think of where my inspiration, my, my idea, right? So it's kind of makes me Thunderdome in a little bit of ways. So I wanted this concrete structure to look like it had been here forever. And what the end result is going to be is this was already here. You know, this was this was something we've built. This was already here 
and you know it was a I don't know admin building or something like that that we repurposed or maybe it was an actual stadium and I want to like put the wood in and put the metal in it's gonna have possibly even a ceiling as well but a ceiling that's slightly open a little bit so it's gonna look very very cool a lot of lights I'm also not gonna have um because I know that they've bugged it out a little bit with the uh, I haven't tried it, but I remember Draco and Victus, uh, Vic, making his video and not being able to get two settlers to fight each other. So I won't be doing that yet. I'll have the stands set up everything, but until that gets patched. Um, but I'm not going to probably have gunners and raiders in here. It's mostly going to be wild beasts. The reason being is that they have guns and they shoot my settlers. <laughs> and we don't have bulletproof glass yet. It occurs to me I'm going to have to... What I'm going to do... Um... Because the problem is, the way I built this, like, the most of what you see is me just following on from what I've built. So, just enjoy the style. Like, some of you understand concrete and probably figure out how to make this. I'm going to make you another video. A short one. Maybe, like, advanced concrete or something like that. Because I'm, I'm watching this now and realising that it's difficult for me to explain how I did this. You see this? Now, this works fine. I actually fuck up, though. So, you can see what I'm doing here. This is, and this is where it gets complicated, just through the sheer height of what I've done, I'm attaching that concrete onto the edge of the foundation. That's too low than the other walls, and that's why I need to make a separate video. So enjoy this, I hope you get some inspired inspiration for the shape, but I think before I do the wooden section, I'm going to have to do a more advanced concrete tutorial, just to, because concrete's fucking awesome, and I'm learning how to do it in very cool ways but it is awkward as shit so you're gonna see in a sec um i think this side is the right height you see it's it's too low on one side and i notice it when i'm doing it here and i can't I think I've got to experiment how i did it because i want a reliable way of doing it because having it like this looks better the reason being is because, well, you put the concrete on the outside of the foundation, so that the foundation almost acts like a, um, like a ceiling. Like, it slots in like a ceiling would. And it just makes it easier, and also you don't have that floating wool pieces problem, which I, 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 I think I mentioned in my last video. It's just a little bit of a pain in the ass. Yes, it's, it's the wrong fucking height. The good thing is, when you ever have anything with the concrete that's the wrong height, you can just literally just... Let's see, I've done. You can, this is why I, I sigh. Because <sighs> I fucked up. Um, whenever you do that, you can just grab it and just... Move it up. So you just move it up. But you have to... It's a little bit of a nightmare. And that's why I think, yeah. So basically, if you're curious how this is going to develop, um, I will be tweeting videos of exactly what's going on, because I enjoy doing that, and, you know, it, it's good, because it gives you guys something to, you know, see. Um, and it makes me feel like I'm being productive, <laughs> without actually having to <laughs> render a video. I'm just like, yeah, 30 seconds, look what I did. Um, but basically, so the idea being, and this is what I was going to say, now that I'm fucking around with the concrete, um, it's kind of like Thunderdome, but I remember reading a book. Um, for those of you who remember, like, I hinted my robot, um, Tarek, in my other video, right? For those who don't know, he's from the Warhammer 40,000 Black Library books, specifically the Horus Heresy books. Um, Tarek is one of the Lunar Wolves, later Sons of Horus. He's basically one of the captains. I think he's the 8th or 10th company captain. I can't remember if I've read the book a while. Someone point out. But anyway, I really like those books a lot. I love the lore, and it's really fantastic. Anyway, one of my favourite authors, Dan Abnett, does this book called Ravenor, which is like about the Inquisitors. Some of you probably read Eisenhorn. Um, and in it... In Ravenor, they go to a circus, and the description of the circus... This is how I get a lot of my inspiration, by the way. It's just the descriptions of things kind of stick out to me. And the description of the circus... Because it was, it was basically that. It was a circus, but an arena. They had, like, lots of wild animals uh, fighting each other. And, like, it was, uh, like, noisy. You know, it was like, um, there was... The way he describes Dan Abnett's an amazing, amazing author. I highly suggest you check out any of his books. He's I've met him twice. He's amazing. Lovely guy. Wife's lovely as well. They signed loads of my books. Lovely people. Um, but um, 
yeah, like the way he described it, it was like noisy and there was like just food stands everywhere. There was people laughing and drinking and like, you know, people like Dan. Obviously, I can't make it to that kind of level of detail, but the, the inspired, the way it's going to be built and designed is going to be inspired by that. So, you know, there's going to be like food stands and bars going on and people are going to be, you know, like just nattering away while, you know, animals are eviscerating people in the pit, but they're not even paying attention to it because they're looking at something else. And it's going to be really packed and like, it's going to be cool. And I'm going to have like, that, that was my inspiration. That was my idea I have for it. Obviously, you know, I, I can't really, eventually, unless they add loads of things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, that was my premise. This is going to be kind of like a carnival arena town. Now you see the way the light raises, that's because that's not snapped. That's actually snapped to the ceiling. Now that's not a problem. Some of you have probably seen that when you've connected, say, ceiling pieces when you're doing like the upper floors of areas. So the way you do this is really simple. You actually just... Well, it's not actually that simple. There we go. And you can snap it in, basically. So more correctly, I think I built the tower. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out how I did this. Because having it connect so it's not actually snapping to the foundation, it's snapping to the walls on the foundation, works better. Effectively, and I know why I think I did it with the upper shack floors, so it just snaps in. If you're ever having trouble with the concrete and you get it close like that, you just kind of select it and it'll move, place it and then select it and it'll move back in easier. But basically, um, this is one board thickness lower or higher? Yeah, higher than it should be. Which works really well because then, because concrete sinks a lot easier and it snaps intelligently. Wow, intelligently, kind of. Um, so you can actually... What this means is on the upper level, you may notice there are no lips. There are no, like, hanging bits. Well, actually, they're lied. There is one hanging bit down here because just due to the how raised the ground is, I can't get it any closer. So I'm just going to maybe rug glitch a foundation in. <laughs> um, but I, I, I wall in, but I don't do that now. I think it's that one I get in. Get in there, you fucking dickhead. You twat monkey. There we go. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it's these two here. <laughs> Is that because I can't get them low enough? But anywho. That's literally the only gap. And I just put the walls on. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm doing is... I've just been rambling about my thought process. Three Dan Abnett books, if you should. I was very disappointed, actually. Only one... Some of you on Twitter did get it when I tweet mocked you for it. Um, about my robot called Tarek. Only one of you. Everyone saw that it was like something from League of Legends. I don't play MOBAs. Fuck that shit. Um, but yes. Read Dan Abnett books. Black Library. Fucking awesome. Greatest books ever. Literally what the only thing I read now is those books. More or less. Well, actually, I've read them all. Um, but yeah, that, that was the inspiration from, from Bravnor. That was my idea I had in my head for what I want this to look like. Now, as I said, I'm well aware that I can't make it so it's as noisy and as full of people. Well, I mean, I could probably make it full of people. But it's going to look cool, at least. Lots of lights, lots of colour. I can at least make it have a noise while having loads of machinery. Oh, there are loads of traps, by the way, as well. Okay, anyway, that is it. Now, ignoring the fact that it's very, very bland, but it's... Look at the structure. Yeah? Look at the structure. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry if I'm a bit rambly, um, but I don't know, actually, this is who I am. <laughs> um, I will be doing another video for you guys tomorrow, because I did... took me a while to get this started, but I basically have the next stage of this and a bit, bit more in advanced concrete video so I can explain some of the techniques I use in that. And I think I'll do that one first so you guys can replicate this. Um, so you get a video for tomorrow, basically, and then you'll get a video on... I'll skip out Tuesday. Um... So yes, speak to you lovely people soon. As always, follow me on Twitter if you want to see any kind of videos and footage of what I'm doing right now. Anyway, you guys take care.